This is the space VFX and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create a space VFX or any other similar VFX in After Effects. Let's start by driving into Adobe After Effects. First we need to create a composition. Go to the top bar and select new composition. By default the width is set to 1920 and the height is set to 1080 with a frame rate of 30 fps. Keep the settings the same. The VFX length will be around 10 seconds instead of 30 seconds. Choose a black background and click OK to create the new composition. Now navigate to the window menu to enable the AUS plugin for VFX elements. Next search for the universe pack and click on it to open. It's important to note that all the VFX elements used in this video are part of the Flim VFX bundle from AEJuice. Currently, it is available with a 68% discount. Additionally, you can enjoy an extra 10% off by applying my promo code ARIF10, link in the description. Now click on the stars category and you can select this one. To input it onto the timeline, just double click on it. Click on the composition to view the stars. Go back to the plugin and choose the planets category. From this category, select Earth for the space VFX. Double click on it to input it onto the timeline. Return to the composition once again. On the timeline, now we have two layers. Click on the cube icon to enable the 3D layer. If you are missing it, just click on the switch in the bottom left corner. Now let's create animation for our space VFX. Expand the earth layer and navigate to the transform option. Ensure that the time indicator is at the first frame of the layer. Click on the stopwatch icons next to the position and jet rotation to set keyframes at the first frame. After adding the keyframes, move the art to the left of the frame in the composition and slightly lower it. Next, decrease the rotation value to around negative 6. Well, the positioning and the rotation for the first keyframe are complete. Now move the time indicator to the end of the layer. Increase the rotation value to around 2 for the jet axis. After that, slightly adjust the position of the art to the right to create the animation. This is a space animation and since our camera is far away, it will result in a slow movement animation, following the principles of animation physics. Also note that as we have made some changes, new keyframes of position and jet rotation are automatically added at the current time indicator position. Now hit the space bar on the keyboard to play the animation. Alright, now select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to apply easy ease for a smooth animation. Afterward, collapse the earth layer and expand the stars layer to animate this layer. Set the time indicator position at the beginning frame and add keyframes for position and jet rotation by clicking on their stopwatches. Position the stars night sky for the first keyframe. Then move the time indicator to the end and adjust the position of the stars to create the animation. Increase the rotation value to 12 for rotational animation. Reposition the stars if needed. Play the animation to see how it looks. Click on the left arrow icon of the jet rotation to go to the fast keyframe. Decrease the rotation value slightly. Finally play the animation again to ensure everything looks good. To make the animation smoother, as usual select all keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. If you want to fine tune the velocity of the keyframes, you can adjust them in the graph editor. Now collapse the underneath layer and once again access the AJUS plugin for the next VFX element. Click on home and type night sky in the search box. Click on the pack and then select the second category. Choose the desired element for input by double clicking on it. Go to the timeline and move the meteor layer to the left. Hit the S key for scale and adjust its size accordingly. Change this blend mode from normal to add or screen to remove the background. After that hit the R key for rotation and increase its value. For example in my case I set it to around 33. Now as you move the time indicator you can observe the space VFX animation. You can also modify its position if necessary. Don't forget to enable the 3D layer by clicking on the Q icon which is important for applying a virtual camera. If you pay attention you can see that is our layer is positioned a bit on the earth and it starts layers causing a portion of the material to appear below the earth. Now let's return to the plugin for the next element, which is the asteroid from the universe pack. Choose the desired asteroid and input it onto the timeline. Then return to the composition and navigate to the timeline. Press the S key for scale and decrease its value. You can also change its position by moving it to the left of the composition. 
don't forget to enable 3D for this layer as well. Collapse and expand this layer to access the transform properties. Click the stopwatch icon for position to set a keyframe at the beginning frame of the layer. Set keyframes for scale and jet rotation as well. Next, increase the rotation value for example to 35 or 40. Then slightly adjust its position downward. Now move the time indicator to the end of the layer and change its position to upright. After that, decrease the scale value slightly and increase the rotation a bit. That should be sufficient for the space animation in this tutorial. Now we can play the video and observe the space animation. If you feel that something should be changed, for instance by dragging this layer to the right, please go ahead and make adjustments accordingly. Now let's apply a camera to our composition. Go to the layer menu, then select new and finally choose camera. You can provide a name and select a preset like 35mm or 80mm. By default 50mm is selected which is good. For type choose between one note camera or two note camera. We will select the two note camera for more freedom in animation. Click OK to confirm all the settings. We add this camera to our composition to gain ability to adjust its position, orientation and other behaviors like a physical camera, allowing us to animate the view of our scene. This is our camera layer. If you select the orbit around tool, it becomes useful for creating dynamic camera movements and animation in 3D space. The pan tool is designed for moving the composition around. Additionally, the dolly towards tool allows you to zoom in or out of the 3D scenes by clicking and dragging on a point of interest. Go to the camera layer and expand it. Camera options allow you to modify and animate the properties of a camera layer such as the focal length, aperture, zoom, depth of field and more. Let's go to the transform options for making the animation. Ensure the time indicator at the first frame of the layer and then set keyframes for point of interest and position. Then move the time indicator to the last frame of the layer. Now hold down the numeric key 1 for the orbit tool and move the mouse slightly to create a dynamic camera movements and animation in 3D space. Then hold down the numeric key 3 for the dolly towards tool to zoom in or out of the animation. For the pan under 2, press and hold down the numeric key 2 and move it slightly. You can change the view layout from 1 to 2 for better understanding how the virtual camera is working including the point of interest and framing. Using the orbit tool and moving it around can provide a clear understanding of the camera's behavior. Here are the keyframes added to the layer for making the changes to the camera. Now play the animation and enjoy the final result of Space PFX. You can make it better by using other elements from the Flim BFX bundle of AE Juice. I hope you enjoyed this Space BFX tutorial in After Effects. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.